I brought Andretti and Cadillac into Formula 1 through my love with LEGO. In case you haven't seen in the news recently, basically Andretti Global and General Motors have announced that they intend to join Formula 1 with their new joint collaboration with the Andretti Cadillac F1 team. And their goal is just to compete as an 11th team in the sport. And I think this makes sense as F1 is growing substantially in the US with three races, Miami, Austin, and Las Vegas, and also the Drive to Survive series on Netflix, which is blowing up in the US. I think this only makes more sense to create a second US-based team, and I think Andretti has a really good idea here. It just needs to get passed through the FIA. Before you click off, we are so close to 50,000 subscribers, and we've been sitting there for like so long. It's actually crazy. So if like you guys could go down and like press that little red button and just subscribe for me, that would mean a lot. So in case you didn't know, Andretti is already part of pretty much m almost any motorsport you can think of. IndyCar, Formula E, um, Hypercar Racing, like IMSA, all those. So Andretti, obviously, it's a big name. You guys have heard of it. But surprisingly, it's not an F1, and that's what they're trying to do. So there's the backstory. Now let's get into my design. So as I was looking at some cars that Andretti runs, I basically saw a reoccurring theme that nothing was Andretti-based. It was just either the main sponsor or the like car brand. So with the car brand for the F1 bid being Cadillac, I figured let's make this a Cadillac based F1 car. So I found this picture of some sort of hypercar. I don't know exactly what LMDH, LP, LMP1, I don't know. One of those along those lines, but basically it's gold, silver, and black. Those are the main three colors. And I thought it looked really good. And it also doesn't look like anything already in F1. So I think this is what we're gonna make our livery off of and we'll go from there. So next is the sponsors. So I went through all of Andretti's different sponsored cars already, like IndyCar, Extreme, I listed them earlier. So Colton Herta most likely being their main driver like they already talked about. I looked at the IndyCar he drives because he seems to be the main focus and Gainbridge seems to be a large sponsor. And they've already sponsored F1 in the past as well. I believe at Miami they had uh, sponsor boards along the walls. And I figured let's make this the number one main sponsor of the team. It makes sense. It's following along with Andretti. I see it happening and it makes sense to me. So another one we got here, Auto Nation. They also sponsored F1 at the Miami Grand Prix. They also sponsor uh, Andretti, which again, just following along, it makes sense. I see them following with them to F1, maybe even expanding more into F1 like they had the wall, like the boards on the walls. I, I think this one makes sense as well. So like on their Formula E car, they're sponsored by a company called Avalanche. And I figured this cool logo and I think we're going to put it on the front wing. So I kind of just went through like processes like that, finding cars. And I just used stuff that Andretti already has as a sponsor. And I think it would make sense for them to follow along into Formula 1. Because who wouldn't want to be in Formula 1? So before I show you my creation of the car, to give you some backstory if you're new here, I'm the Moving Bricks. I make every single F1 race in Lego stop motion. So it's like a bunch of pictures moving by to basically show a video, but of the race, but everything's in Lego. So I make every car, every track, all the pit lane, pit garages, all that stuff. Everything's in Lego. So that's why I'm making this car in Lego. And for those of you that have been here, I did change up the design a little bit, which is exciting. I think it looks better. I'll, I'll be using it for the 2023 season. I think it looks more realistic and just overall more detailed and more interesting. So let's take a look at the Lego Andretti Cadillac Formula One car. So off the bat, I talked about the gold, silver, and black paint scheme. I think it looks really clean, and I think overall it's, it's unique. It's nothing you've seen in Formula One. Um, I like the hints of Cadillac and Andretti because it's not over the top, but I think it looks good. I think the gold really makes the car because I think if it was just silver and black, it wouldn't be as good. But I think the gold really helps make it pop and make it look clean. I think I like the logo selection and where I put them. I think it fits really well and I think it does actually look like a real car. Basically, I just made it from scratch, so I think it's pretty impressive for it, I think, to look pretty good. Of course, number 26 for Colton Herta, who they already said is most likely going to be their number one driver. I tried to follow on the engine cover what is on the one Cadillac hypercar or LMDH, LMP1. I don't know what type of car it was, but I tried to follow that same sort of design on the back. I think it looks cool. I think it looks unique. All right, that's all we got for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was just a little fun project over the winter break. I hope Andretti joins Formula One. I think it would be really cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If they join, I think that would be really good for the sport, and I think it would be really cool. So, but yeah, that's all we got for today. Um, I should be posting regularly every weekend until the liveries start to drop, and um, then we got the season, and 
it's go time. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Subscribe. Peace.